ladies and mostly gentlemen today. We're going to talk about mounts and more specifically some unused mount models which came into the game in BFA during the alpha, beta, 8.1, uh, just during BFA so far. Because if you didn't know, there's around four mounts which have not appeared in BFA yet. So today we're going to check those out. These aren't reskins of other mounts. There are an absolute ton of unused skins uh, for BFA mounts and older mounts that came in BFA. But yeah, we would be here all week if we wanted to do that. So these models are all unique uh, and new and they have their own skins and things like that. So we're going to check them out. As I said, there's four of them. And as of patch 8.1, none of them have been used in game. Now, some of them have been teased for future patches and I'll talk about that when we get to them. But yeah, so let's just dive in with the first one and this is the Dark Hound Mount. So if you didn't know, the Dark Hound got a new model in BFA and I believe Hunters can tame them. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I believe they can. And this is the mount that came along uh, in the beta for Battle for Azeroth and oh my goodness, it is incredible. It is like a vanilla player's wet dream to someone who did a lot of Black Rod Depths. This is obviously Dark Iron themed as you can see from like the, the side plates there, they're like Dark Iron faces. It is so badass. Look at that helm on this thing. It is like a massive blade, like how dangerous does that look? Uh, as you can see, the saddle as well uh, has got like a kind of, it's got the similar armor to the Dark Iron Heritage armor, so this looks really cool with a Dark Iron in his Heritage armor. It's like a perfect mount. And my theory on this one is that it will probably be used for some sort of PvP reward potentially, and I think it could have been a potential idea for the racial mount. Obviously, in the end, they got the Core Hound mount. But yeah, I think this, I think it came at a similar time as well. This, personally, I think would have been a way cooler epic mount for the Dark Iron Dwarves, but it is a little too epic, you know, just for just like a regular mount that everyone can get. Uh, so maybe a Vicious War mount, potentially. Uh, season 3 mounts have been announced, so maybe a Season 4, potentially, if we get one. And yeah, what a cool looking mount. I absolutely love the detail of it looking basically like it's got the heritage armor for the Dark Iron Dwarves on it. Uh, there's only one color of it and it is red, obviously. Uh, the animation is the same as like a wolf. Um, I believe they use the same rigging and uh, animation kind of things for that. But yeah, really cool, really great. Absolutely love this mount. I really want it in game. It is so awesome and sorry Horde, but yeah, this will be Alliance only hopefully. Our next mount is probably a mount that all of you have seen at some point, and this is the Epic B mount. Now the bees are a new model which came in in BFA, uh, there's a few of them spawned in Stormsome Valley and, and Drusfar. Uh, but yeah, this is the mount that actually came along and it is amazing. I did do a full video on it months and months ago and it hasn't changed since then. Uh, it comes in three colours, you've got the yellow one, the black one and kind of the orangey one. Uh, all of them looking unique and cool in their own right. The mount special is so amazing on this, I really love the details they went into this mount and honestly like just looking at it the graphic style is so high on it and it looks incredible you've got that kind of honey pot on the back with the honey stirrer there is an official word for it i'm sure you guys know it uh, and it is just a really awesome mount you can see like the the saddle there has just been kind of strapped on there loosely kind of like it's like a crazy wild animal and you've just kind of grabbed some straps and wrapped around it to ride it and it's cool and it was partially confirmed to blizzcon for 8.2 when they spoke about flying they had a picture of the bee and everyone went mad about it so hopefully we're going to get the bee mount at some point hopefully it's for horde and alliance uh, because it does kind of have a link to the stormsong valley um faction but it would be cool if both factions can fly it and i really really hope it doesn't end up on the because it is so cool it's unique in every single way i believe it doesn't really use any uh any other rigging at all it's it's completely new in its own right and yeah it's a great mount can't wait to ride it so our next mount has a little bit of a story to it so this is the hovercraft mount and that's what it's called in the game files uh, they call it the atv in some parts uh, but I got a bit of a story about it and a little bit of explanation on what it actually is. As you can see, it's a massive hovercraft with a goblin face on the front. It's actually a two-seater mount as well. There is a seat uh, at the back there. I believe it uses the same model base as the Dreadwake. Uh, they're very, very similar in animation and the way they kind of are. Uh, so I got a little bit of story about this, as I said. Um, so this mount was actually in the alpha test for Battle for Azeroth, which I was in. And if you guys remember, long, long time ago, I used to stream the alpha. And this mount was a mount that you could create, and it was called Gallywix's ATV, but they spelt Gallywix backwards. And you could create it through having engineering and blacksmithing, and each of those professions would create half of it, and then you combine the two items together to create the hovercraft. Now, I was probably one of the few people on the server to actually have one, because at that time, materials were super hard to get, it was mining nodes that you needed, and there was only one section of Zandalar which spawned mining nodes. So I ended up making it, and it took a long time, but it was so cool. Now, it didn't run on water, which was like the stupidest thing in the world, so it didn't run on water, but it flew. 
So I have no idea what the idea behind that was. So maybe, I don't know, I would actually prefer this if it didn't fly and walked on water because we are lacking so hard on water walking mounts. Uh, really, we only have that stupid water strider thing. And then obviously, you know, other classes can run on water with various mounts. But most other classes have to use that if you want to walk on water. And I think this... Hovercraft, which is named in the, in the game files, would be perfect for that. Uh, if it flew, it kind of seems a bit weird, but yeah. So this comes in four colors. The Galawix ATV was uh, this color, and it's still in the game files right now. The, the item and the spell are still there, uh, waiting to be used, and I don't know when they would use it. I was kind of thinking it maybe with Mechagon, but Mechagon's more gnome-related, so I'm not really sure. If you guys have any ideas of when this can be implemented, I would love to see it in patch 8.2, but it's kind of just figuring out what, what would work, really, and yeah. It's a damn cool mount though, I really hope it doesn't end up like just being cut completely because it's a mount that we definitely need and as I said there's four colours as well so you can really get some variety with it. And our final mount on this list is the Mechanical Parrot Mount. Uh, as you can see, this is a reskin of the Parrot Mount, but it is actually its own model. So, yeah, I'm going to count this one. It's not actually a reskin. I mean, technically it is, but, you know, it's its own model. Uh, so this is a really cool mount. It actually comes with a little pet as well. There's a little Mechanical Parrot pet. I believe they were added in 8.1. Uh, obviously uses the exact same animations as the, uh, the Parrot Mounts. Really, really cool looking mount. And I believe this was pretty much confirmed for Mechagon uh, in patch 8.2. I really think this will probably be some sort of like mythic reward, similar to the Midnight Mount from Karazhan. I think this would be a great mount reward from uh, the Mechagon dungeon, and it's really cool. I love this mount. I love the fact that the wings aren't full. They're just kind of like blades of metal. The details are amazing as well. Like the, the feather on the top is now just a big metal blade, and the saddle is kind of a bit rustic as well. It's not really mechanical. The saddle isn't mechanical, so it looks like they've just kind of similar to the bee where they've just kind of grabbed this creature and just stuck a saddle on it and said, yes, we're riding you now, but really cool. I love the feet as well. The feet are really cute uh, on this thing as well. They're like little metal things, but it is a little bit low res on some parts, uh, mainly the wings, but from afar, it's a really cool mount and the coloration is fantastic as well. So it's going to look really cool when people are running around with it, hopefully in 8.2, as I said, and it comes with a pet as well. And the pet is super adorable as well. So love the mechanical stuff. I think, I think when 8.2 hits the PTR and they start data mining, all of those creatures that are like mechanical versions of them are going to look so amazing. So I love all that kind of stuff that, you know, like the mechanical tiles. Tigers and, and whatnot. It's all really cool to me and the mechanical pet and the mechanical parrot is no different. I really like this mount. So guys, that is my list of the four mounts that are currently unused in the BFA game files. Uh, let me know down below what you think of these mounts and where you think they should be placed. Uh, I really like all of them. Personal favorite has got to be that Dark Owl mount. I think that looks absolutely incredible. It's one of the more unique mounts we've got in the last couple of years that wasn't a store mount. So before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. If you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. For have got a partner to this channel with over 3,000 members and a merch store over on Streamlabs. And I'm also now streaming on Twitch.tv slash Gym. We're doing a lot of community events recently. Been kind of doing islands with you guys. We've been doing a bit of raid testing here and there. And we've been having a lot of fun over on Twitch. So if you guys are interested in live streaming, twitch.tv slash MrGM. And the link is the top one in the description. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.